Hello again. <coughs> this time we're going to learn how to convert or transform numerical variables into categorical variables using the unsupervised binning technique or unsupervised discretization. One thing I'd like to mention about the last video is that it actually took too long. I usually try to keep my videos less than 10 minutes so they don't become boring. Last video was, was too long and I'll do my best to keep my videos as short and rich with information as possible. Now let's remind ourselves again with uh, the contents or oh, this sort of like a nice map we're still learning binning, converting numerical variables into categorical variables. Unsupervised binning as we mentioned before is the second type of binning and what how the way it works is it transforms numerical variables into categorical variables but it does not use the target or the class information. So we do it regardless of the class, unlike the entropy-based method, the one we learned uh, in the last video. We have two methods of unsupervised binning. The first one is equal width, the second one is equal frequency binning. So equal width binning and equal frequency binning. Let's move on and try to learn what these are and have an example. For equal width binning, I think the name actually says it all. The name is self-explanatory. What it does is it divides the data into k intervals of equal size. So k intervals of equal size. The width of intervals is w equals the maximum value minus the minimum value over k. Yes. So k intervals, we choose k, let's say for example 5 intervals or 10 intervals, each of them has, each of them or all of them have the same size. So k intervals of equal size, the width is of each interval is um, maximum value minus the minimum value and we divide by the number of intervals. This is quite self-explanatory. Now, the interval boundaries are, for the first interval is we start at the minimum value we stop at W. For the second interval, we start at the minimum value and stop at the 2 times W and so on and so forth. The third one is 3 times W and until K minus 1 times W. Uh, this will be clear when we have an example. For the frequency, for, I'm sorry, for the equal frequency binning, again, we're talking about frequency here, so we're talking about count of occurrences, how many times does something occur or appear. So the algorithm here, it divides the data into k groups where each group contains approximately the same number of values. In the, f in the, in the previous one, in equal width, we had intervals of equal size. Here, we have k groups. Each one will have approximately the same number of values. Now, for both methods, for the equal frequency and for the equal width method, for both of them, the best way of determining k is by looking at the histogram and trying different intervals or groups. So we look at the histogram, we've learned what histogram is before, and we just look at it, try to analyze it, and tr we try different intervals and groups. Enough talking, let's have a simple example to learn what uh, these two methods are and how they actually work. Let's assume we have this data here. So, so some values like 0, 4, 12, 16, 16, 18, 24, 26, 28. Now, for values, for, I'm sorry, for equal width binning, let's say we'd like to split it into um, um, three groups. Yeah, let's say we try to split it over three groups then what we do is so here k now k now I'm sorry where is yeah, k now is three now the width of each interval I'm sorry I was saying groups we s split it into three intervals the width now is max minus min over k so if we want to split this data into uh, three equal width intervals then k equals three so we compute mi max mi minus min max is 28 min is zero so that's 28 over 3 that's almost 10 so what we do is we split it into three categories or three intervals and 10 is uh, m multiples of 10 are 
our borders as we exp our, our boundaries as we explained before now for any value less than 10 until the up until 10 we only have 0 and 4 that's the first bin for the second bin between 10 and 2 times 10 which is 20 between 10 and 20 you can have 12 16 16 18 that's the second bin the third bin will have anything between 20 and 30 and 30 is above the maximum so we stop there so and the third bin will have 24 26 and 28 that's equal with binning I hope it makes sense now for equal frequency binning what we do is as we said we decide the value of k the number of intervals or the number of groups here the number of groups here not intervals intervals was for the equal width let's say we want to split it over three groups and each group now will have approximately the same number of values then we split over three we end up with uh, yeah the first bin having the first three values 0 4 12 the second bin having the second three values 16 16 18 and the third bin will have 24 26 28 notice the equal frequency that each bin will approximately have or will, they will all have uh, the same number of values or number of elements inside them if you want to check your uh, boundaries then here the boundaries are probably 14 here between 14 and 21 here uh, 21 plus so 21 and above and notice by the way here for the square bra bracket and the parentheses the parentheses mean that the value is not included in that set and the square value the square bracket means value included so here for example here 10 is not included 10 is included in the second bin and 20 is not included in this bin it's included in the third bin because the square bracket here and the parentheses here now to have a look at some histogram um, for uh, the equal width for less than or equal 10 the first bin we have two elements for the 10 to 20 bin or the second bin we have four elements and for the third bin we have three elements and for equal frequency we have three elements for each I hope this makes sense I know it's quite simple just wanted to explain it thank you very much for watching in my next video I will start explaining bivariate analysis thanks again and I'll see you next time